This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we, as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Indianapolis Colts. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. <laughs> First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes it's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box. And there's nowhere to run the football. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And the 11. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Rivers to throw it. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A 14 yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Rivers. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. At the 45-yard line. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Throwing Rivers. He'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On third down, Rivers. Dude, I threw that more to the right than that. That's fucking... Uh. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. After the interception, here's Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Well, they'll try the sweep. It's locking with it. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. This throw complete, Wilson finding Lockett. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 31 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. How was that so easy? Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Is he off like 15 yards? I don't fucking know. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Rodgers on the return. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. First and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. No way, dude. I fucking lofted that because I tapped the button. That's fucking trash again. He bolts it into traffic when I tapped the button. Suck it, man. You suck. You didn't even see he put air on her. He still bulleted into the traffic. That doesn't make any sense. Before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. I hate passing in this fucking Madden. So bad. From the shotgun, Wilson. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change. That's right? fucking you know, stupid, over, man. You take it away. They stuck it in the There's no, like, the detail to anything. It just does what it wants half the time. And stopping that two you can't touch time. pass. You can't throw behind the receiver and have it actually do anything. I remember when Madden was like that and you could do that shit. But now, you just, no matter what you do, the game just does what the fuck it wants based on whatever random animation it picks. It's like, oh, well, just throw shit in a random algorithm and spit it out. That's fucking trash. Can't imagine, oh, anything could go wrong, but he can overthrow him. He's fucking wide open. Holy fuck. I could work the ball down the field 80 fucking percent of the way and you could just get a pick for some stupid shit. It's just like, why? What the fuck is the point? Well, this is Hilton on the receiving end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. And the Colts working out of the gun. Rivers. Fighting Hilton on the slant. Shit, yeah, and it. he'll be taken down, but Holy not before shit, he works it past the 50. Give him back to back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. They'll throw again. Rivers. How do two extra guys miss one guy? Back at the 47 yard line. Ex can you explain it? Can anybody explain it? Somebody will write me a fucking comment in this video and let me know how those two fucking extra guys that didn't fucking do anything missed the guy who went around and sacked my quarterback. 
Another try after the first down sack. Rivers looking deep for Hilton. Please catch a ball. Please catch a fucking ball. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's you weren't even down. that like well yeah, defended. You just mean, fucking dropped it. Two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50 50. Shut up, 50 50. When your well user grabs awesome position and he fucking just drops it for no reason, he doesn't even hit or anything. Third and long for Rivers. Let's try it again. He fucking. What was that? Who hit that first? Can we show? Can we have an instant replay? Oh, he jumped up and his hand-eye coordination was off today. He fucking completely missed the ball. He's a professional fucking wide receiver who catches fucking footballs for a fucking living and practice, and he can't fucking have the decent hand-eye coordination to go up and at least make. Contact with the ball with his hands when he jumps up to catch a pass in a professional fucking football game. Give me some explanation. No. You're supposed to be the fucking number one football game that simulates real life professional football and you get paid millions of dollars to do so and you can't do a halfway decent ass fucking job of doing it. I, like I, me getting a good play is not gonna make me happy. You suck. It's it fucking infuriates me. It frustrates me. It's how American capitalism is fucking corrupt, and businesses take advantage of the fucking poor expectation that they have to produce anything that they fucking say or have any expect expectation of producing because they fucking. They need to aren't to held accountable for anything. As long as they make fucking the good second, money, they're fine. They're happy. Everybody's fucking happy as long as they fucking make good money, which isn't the fucking case. You can fucking hear me. You, do I hear fucking happy? Do I sound happy? Do I hear happy? Do I fucking sound happy? Take some honor in your craft and your fucking art and make it as good as you possibly can for as much money as you get and fucking... Like, there's no way. There's no way that this shit happens. And this game has that has been around for fucking 30 fucking years. And gets to work off a previous version of itself every year. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he finds a man, it's Wilson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Third and 19, no problem. Is there able to come I ain't fucking over that. I fucking don't know what else to say. Field now for first and 10. They'll run on first down. Carson. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially. You know, you shouldn't base your governor off fucking capitalism because it makes people fucking lazy when they have success. They don't know what to do when they with money when they make too much money. And they fucking do stupid, dumb shit, and they don't take any honor or accountability for anything that they fucking do. They're just like, ah, I'm making money, so I'm fucking cool. Like, Open man is Jacob I don't know. Foster. That's off tangent, but it's fucking ground. true. He has another first down at the Colts 21. For 17 yards on the pick up there. The they lose the, like, down. why they wanted to do what they did in the first place. Because they fucking make money and they focus on money. And they base their, what they do off fucking money. And it's, they do stuff. Dumb, stupid shit. They wouldn't do otherwise. It wasn't for fucking the incentive of making a lot of money. More money than they ever fucking would need or fucking could use. First down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And money is only going to cause them fucking problems, right? After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Carson. He will push his way down to about the 14. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action.
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Wilson now to throw on third down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. try to sweep. It's locking with it. And he'll go backwards. Losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Second and goal at the five yard line. You're going to see me in your nightmare, son. delay here's Carson and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line two runs in a row but only two yards to show for it it's now third and goal now the Seahawks gonna use the first of their timeouts yeah I like that look but here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half <clears throat> Another shot here from the two as they come up on third and goal. They'll try to run with Carson, and he's across. Why are we in slow mo on that? Oh my god, dude. They were in the backfield like waiting to tackle him before he got the ball and they couldn't make a play on him? I don't understand. I really don't understand that. They're in the backfield and then they move in slow-mo and can't make a play. Explain. Just explain. I fucking have a hole and I'm wide, a wide open hole and, and all of a sudden I get clamped on and lose a fucking five-yard game that's right in front of me. I don't understand. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was one of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive line. Should I use fucking your American capitals and I make money, fucking shield? I make money. We're good. We're good. Game. We fucking rock. Because we fucking make money. No. That's not how it works. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half of first. Like, I don't even know what the fucking do. Kind to you. Uh, how do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strat. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and ten, just shy of midfield at the 48. And this is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? 
you don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And oh, there's no hitstick attempt on that at all. As they get it up past the 30. The Seahawks take oh, over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Like, no sign of it, no hint of it. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the So much fucking half. separation nice so fast, half, dude. Guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. We'll see how they handle any oh. adjustments that might be made defensively. Like, who are you covering? Fucking suck. They'll run on first down. Carson, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 at the 49-yard line. Sets him up better for third down. To DK Metcalf. A gain of nine brings up third and two. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. God damn, dude. Yeah, I concerned. Really that worried? Think I had that many rough breaks this game? I agree. They say just outside the 20 yard line. I think the passing of this game is so fucking random and shot. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after Dude, nobody's time, fucking open. Get the fuck get out of here. This ball game. The defense I throw it to... There's no so directional passing anymore. There's no the fucking offense, control over anything. Well, you throw it and fucking off. roll the dice. Hey, Every time, man. Right. We sit in quarter number I want to play a game where I have control over what fucking happens. That's not why I'm playing a game or all the fucking dice i can play i can shoot a simulation or something or get a simulation like no dude can't you throw it to the left directionally like you used to in madden or you can you not is that not a part of madden anymore is that's not a part of madden the madden fucking i don't want to play madden anymore that fucking sucks if i can't control the passing directionally it doesn't really seem like you can i really don't want to play madden anymore man fucking that's a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will take over with a football just outside of the 10 at the 12-yard line. 
Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. I want to throw the ball. To and no one else there to protect, which means he's got to get. He just the took like fucking hit, way too long to throw the ball for some fucking stupid reason. I don't know why. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson being chased out left. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, you can Will jump up in an instant and snatch the ball out of the air. But when I switch to the fucking player that's nearby and press triangle, he fucking does jack shit. That's fucking really fucking balanced and fair. That makes a lot of fucking sense. You can fucking fly through the air like Harry fucking Potter and grab a fucking golden snitch like it was up your fucking butthole before the game started. But I have trouble fucking controlling the fucking player with any fucking success at all that's fucking a lot that sounds like a lot of fun it sounds like i want to buy this game and play it and fucking have a great fucking time playing it and playing somebody online and it sounds like a lot of fucking fun let's do that that sounds great Tell me, tell me how it's so easy for you to switch to somebody and snatch the ball out of the fucking air. And I fucking can't do jack shit like my player has fucking, uh, I don't even know. Like, can't move their fucking body. Has, like, paralysis or something. I don't even know if that's, like, a real thing. I can't think. Because I have to come back in a game where I can't pass the ball, where there, there's nowhere even close to it being realistic. It's not even close. Random fucking shit happens on either side of the ball. Whether, like, I've had it happen where I fucking dealt with this shit, and I've had it happen where I've won, and I've had control over things, and it's been fine. And that's what's, that's what's frustrating and confusing and fucking annoying, is the inconsistency. Oh, it went through his hands, and somehow he, that guy caught it. So now it's stuck to the other guy's this hands after it went through that guy's fucking hands. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. He's got position. Oh, he's just a little too slow and short and I can't get up there and get it somehow. Yeah. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm just going to throw bombs and let the game fucking do what it does and fucking rip it apart. That's all. That's what I do when the game sucks. I just fucking keep letting it suck, and I rip it apart. Let's get a hit stick. No fucking way. Sick. If anyone thinks they're just gonna tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, I just try to find more fucking flaws in the game and just fucking shit on it more when this shit happens. That's all I do. I have like a job. It's like a duty. You can't just let this shit go, you know? Some of it was my fault, but usually half of it is the game fucking sucks fucking trash. And it's just fucking shit. Basically. There's no other way to describe it or explain it. You just pick it apart, you describe it in detail in real time, and you fucking shit on it. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. When a linebacker is able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline directly for the receiver and ended up making the play. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. Yeah. They needed five. Mm -hmm. My presence meant nothing. Seven. Fucking Back nothing, you know? Seattle, Washington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. I got no shame playing this game because if I can, I'm not afraid to admit that half of it was me and half of it was fucking a shit ass fucking lazy effort on on some game developers part in fucking 2020 or 2019 where the fuck they sat down and made this fucking game you know it's not the worst game out there but it's not fucking what it should be for how much money they fucking made and I hate wasting fucking time so I'm pissed off about it let's get a hit stick let's fucking oh my god nothing and they do get him down Pick up of 
Fucking sucks. You just run quick. You just run slants across the field all fucking day. There's nothing we can do. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two yard line. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes that. I might try this fucking team to see From the two now, second and goal. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. I'll go special. I'll go special. Wilson. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Officially, it will go as a one yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now Wilson, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is Everybody in your team catches everything, right? That's the Seahawks. You guys have fucking a uh, star-studded fucking full slot of Pro Bowl fucking receivers. That's you guys. I forgot. I forgot the Seahawks were that team. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. It just slipped my fucking memory that Seahawks receivers were that fucking good. You know? They got that much separation. They caught that much fucking... Made that many great catches in traffic. I just didn't see that this past year. Did you? Did you remember seeing that this past fucking year? Or did you turn me off already? Because you're too fucking... Uh, whatever. You don't want to listen to fucking and something that's going to educate yourself. It's not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure out ways to fucking exploit this game to make it fucking better. I guess is what I'm trying to do. Look at this. We got, we'll talk about it. We got a fucking matchup where he's fucking pressed up against uh, T.Y. Hillen on the outside. He should be able to create... Some sort of separation on the outside. Oh, he's got to throw it and, and lead it to the middle to one of the best safeties in, in the uh, fucking league. For some reason, I throw the ball. I don't press any buttons. There's already been proven to be no directional passing in this game from before when I tried to use directional passing. So I tap fucking square. Don't press anything else. And for some reason, he leads the ball to where the fucking safety is. So the safety has an easy pick. Yeah, that's fucking... That makes a lot of sense. That's what they would do. That's what a professional fucking quarterback would do. Um, that's a really realistic thing. Way to fucking really uh, do a good job, Madden, and really represent how a, a quarterback would throw that fucking route in real fucking life and real fucking time. I just sit here and just fucking exploit this game for how much fucking bullshit it is. Like, why would he throw the ball fucking right to your guy for no reason? But I don't even... Like, I don't even try to use directional passing anymore because it's been failed to fucking work or have any sense of working at all or doing anything. The other times when I used it, so I tap it, and for some reason, he has to direct the ball. I don't know what kind of an angle it was. The angle might have been, um, oh, wow. He goes right past him for some reason. No, no, uh, engaging animation. He just goes right fucking past him. But regardless, on that pass, he fucking throws it to the middle of the field for no reason. No reason at all. And I was trying to figure out what angle it was. It might have been a 30 to a 45 degree angle when he ran a fly route. The guy ran a fly route. There's zero angle on a fly route. But for some reason, that ball was thrown at a fucking 30 to 45 degree angle from what it was supposed to be from the original route without any directional pressing at all. Because I've given up on the hope that there is directional fucking passing, pressing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I can't even talk right now. I'm so frustrated. I can't even play right now. I'm so frustrated because of how many poor things are in this game. I can't even figure out what to do anymore. Try to exploit this game and all the fucking poor features and poor details that it has that it doesn't do a good job of showing any realism at all. At all. So we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about 
all the trash things in this game, hoping, praying that somebody related, like the previous video, somebody related to somebody or has some contact with somebody who works on these fucking games, gets their head out of their ass, stops being lazy, or that's A and B and C, I don't know what C, what the other fucking possibility could be, why you make such a shit ass game when you get paid so much fucking money as a well respected franchise that's been around for over 30 motherfucking years. I don't know, I don't know if this rant's over, I'm not fucking sure, I'm fucking fuming right now, I'm fucking so pissed off and so disappointed more than anything at how sad this game is. I gotta wait for him to get open because he's gonna fucking throw a pick if I don't wait. And look at that, I don't have enough time to wait because nobody blocks. You got me cornered. You got me fucking cracked and cornered because I can't win in this game. Because your game is so trash, you can't give me any wiggle room to get any advantage in any fucking strategic way to take advantage of my opponent because you've eliminated it in any possibility because you suck. You're fucking trash. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, up a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL. I was getting hopeful over the last couple games. I thought there was going to be some fucking consistency in this fucking bullshit uh, video game animation, but I'm fucking, I was wrong. I was proven wrong. I was surprised. I was utterly disappointed and fucking surprised. Hopefully next year I'm surprised in a positive way. And the developers fucking get their shit together, use the fucking money they make to pay their fucking workers to make a decent fucking product for the people who fucking decide to pay for it and play it and waste their fucking time playing it and fucking streaming it and trying to fucking show people how fucking shitty it is and how it needs to be improved. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful fucking day.